Pulling at eight and a half pounds directly from Las Vegas, the new baby view. Hey, <laughs> you guys been wondering why I look thick and juicy? Well, it's my Sunday. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, my friends, you have been asking me to make you more agua frescas. You don't know what agua fresca is? When you go to a taco shop and you see all the fresh waters dripping nice and cold and delicious, those are fresh waters made with fruit, jamaica, or chata. But today, I'm gonna show you how to make agua de sandia, which is fresh watermelon water. I don't even know what's wrong with me today, so let's just get to it. <laughs> so, you're gonna pick your watermelon. Honestly, there's a few years where it's been hit and miss, and yes, I do complain if I don't get a good watermelon, okay? so. What I do and how I check it is, I give it a little tap, okay? And if it sounds a little bit hollow in there, yes, but if you, if you tap it and nothing's happening, then that's not for you. Another way to pick a good watermelon is, if you see the lines of the watermelon with good little stripes, that's a good and juicy and sweet watermelon for you to choose from. But I'm just like you guys, there's been times where I buy this beautiful, watermelon I do all the tips that I know and I end up with nothing like biting it into just flesh with no flavor but I've tried organic I've tried regular and I think my favorite watermelons are the sugar baby the mm -hmm. ones with the deep dark green but today we're gonna use this I have no idea which one it is but we're gonna make it I think the ones with the big yellow spots on them those are super mature and juicy but I haven't been able to find any either yeah those are juicy I don't know what the name of those are but they have like you know what I mean? It looks like a, like a stain almost. Yeah, I know those what you mean. Those are pretty juicy. You know, I went to our um, local Mexican store and I was looking at watermelons because you really don't see the one with seeds anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh yeah, reminds me of when I was younger. So I go and I start tapping it and it was so mushy and soft. I was like, nah, I ain't doing this. <laughs> Forget it. So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to be using half of this watermelon, so I'm going to slice it down the middle. Yes, be very careful with your nuggets, okay? Oh, it's like, you know what? It's like a tamal. It's like Christmas. It's a good holiday, a present. Let's see what we get in here. I thought you were going to open that like the Joy Luck Club, the watermelon scene. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're a sicko clown. What? Hey. That, oh, that scene is if you would have said more like agua para chocolate, I would have been like, yes. You haven't seen that movie? Yeah. Those watch movies it. are pretty good. Yeah, it's a really good one. It's for adults, not for the children. Kids, when you get older, you can watch it. <laughs> All right, ready? I can't really. Woo! Oh, nice one. It's a habit for me. I have to get that little circle in the middle and taste it. Mmm. Wow. Thank you. Ooh, good job. You chose a good one. Let me set this little beautiful sandia to the side. I'm not a pro at cutting these, but I do my thing. All right, my bills for the guinea pigs. Uh, yeah. Thanks your tummy. Oh gosh, guys, I can't flex it. All right, so this is how I cut it. The first one I cut like this. That way I know how I need to start slicing the rest for a good groove. Okay. The beautiful thing about the sandia is that you can eat all of your sandia. Obviously not the the peel, but you can eat all the green parts, everything. What a beautiful gift, huh? Yes, half of Stephanie's DNA is watermelon. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. When we were kids, um, we used to cultivate these with corn and other things, um, but you could always find her in the garden eating watermelons. Yep, yep. <laughs> watermelons, not watermelon. <laughs> you used to go to town on those. Yeah, we always had a watermelon uh, planted. Yeah. Our dad used to position us like like machines, uh -huh. so we'd eat the watermelon and throw the seeds in. The yeah, uh, you know what? <laughs> With the seeds, the black seeds, we used to just spit them back into the ground, and next thing you know, we have a bunch of sandias. I know, I used to tell some of our cousins, like, you guys are eating my spit. <laughs> they used to get so mad at me. <laughs> our dad was like, don't, don't tell them that. <laughs> well, if you have a texture preference and you don't like these delicious seeds from the sandia, um, I'm going to show you how to get them out after uh, we do our next step. But you wanna eat those. You can actually put these over your salad. You can you can consume them, guys. Oh yeah. yeah. When you dry them up and put like spices mm -hmm. or stuff on them. You can put spices. Yeah. You can just put them on for extra protein. 
I'm going to share with you guys the nutritional value of sandia. It is, it's actually a very beautiful fruit to eat. You want good skin? Sandia. You want to lose weight? Sandia. And it's going to keep going, okay? Sandia. <laughs> you don't know what sandia is? Hold on. Mm. Yeah, I knew this video was going to be difficult to record for you. I know it is because I want to eat this whole thing. There are certain things that I will wait for, but sandia, no. Here we go. If you want, uh, oh, thank you. No, you can't even talk, guys. There's no <laughs> conversation today. The sandia is divine. When you um put these in the blender, does mm -hmm. the, I have a question, does the seed melt away or do you? It depends. If you're using a Vitamix, like when I was using my Vitamix, which mm -hmm. I really don't like anymore at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with it. Um, when you use a Vitamix, it'll pulverize and blend everything. It's smooth, smooth, smooth. But with this blender, you get a lot of the blending, but I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So oh, okay. give me a second so I get a little paper towel. You know what? With the watermelon, what we used to do too, another thing, is we would cut it to where you get it like a bowl, and then we would just scoop it. All right, so what am I doing next? We're going to blend this watermelon. Good job, sis. I can't focus, guys. I really like sandia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and blend this, and I'm going to see how much liquid we have going on. <laughs> so greedy. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's gonna so work. Greedy. It's because as soon as it blends, it's just gonna, you know. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. And then once I blend and I see how much liquid I have, then I'll let you guys know how much water we're gonna add. Every Sunday is different. Every blender is different. So let's let's hit it. No, I'm not kidding. You have to plug it in first. <laughs> that would work. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so my blend is at about five and a half cups, so I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of water. Some agua fresca is very forgiving. If the fruit has a lot of water, like cucumber and watermelon, it's very forgiving with the amount of water that you add. Let's see. Oh, I can afford to put a little more. Let's do it. Because <laughs> I think I'm like at seven, seven or so cups right now. That will all be gone in a flash. <laughs> yeah, it will. Okay, max liquid. Okay, so I'm at eight, eight cups. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have our liquid set, we're gonna blend this for about three minutes. So we have, well, let me get the little foam, delicious foam out. It smells like summer. It really does. Just very, very runny, guys. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys already know how I make that office, guys. I'm going to go ahead and strain our watermelon water. The reason I'm doing that is because when you strain it and you take the pulp, the fibers out, your body absorbs it instantly. So if you want to take that route and just have your body get all the nutrition from the watermelon, go ahead and strain it. If you like the pulp, keep it in here. You know what? One of my favorite things to do is to juice, to make juice. You're good at it. Huh? I said you're good at it. Your green juice is amazing. Thanks, I think I'm going to do that one um, here soon for you guys. The green juice. I have a really good balance. Cause it can be really pricey when you're juicing your own uh, uh, fruit juice or your vegetable juices, but it's also, well, how much of this do I add or how much of that? And I have, I have a very, very uh, low carb starter juice that you don't want to have for breakfast every day. It's not celery juice. I know that's no. the hype, but it's not celery juice. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> that's embarrassing. 
I know some people that really like it. Some of my friends, like I would tell them about the juices that I was like consuming. And they were like, you have to try celery juice. And I'm like, I tried it one time and that is way too much like sodium tasting. No, me. no, no, no. I can't. You know what? I get the nutrient part, how it cleanses your system, but there's a way of getting, let me tell you, there's a way of getting your nutrition from celery juice without having to deal with the pain. And it's like, I don't know if you guys remember when I talked maybe about two years ago when I was doing the ginger shots that my friend, um, may she rest in peace, convinced me to make for her. And those things were awful. Oh, not good. They, they burn your stomach. Yeah, it's. it's I felt like I lost stomach lining after that juice. You know, sometimes I like hiked food. Yeah. I really do, but sometimes people really push it to be clever. Like, let me do this and show you how. No. I think that's cool, but don't make it taste disgusting. <laughs> if you guys want celery juice, I'll give you a combo that you're gonna enjoy. Imagine. And then the thing is that you have a lot of moms that we want to do like nutritious things for our kids. And what happens? Kids are not going to eat. They're not going to want gonna it. They're not going to salary. The kids that. aren't going to be happy with that. You want your kids to engage in your vegetables, engage in fruits, engage in textures, you know? You know what? There's one juice that they sell. It's like watermelon, I think it's called. And I really like it because it's so smooth. Like when it's really hot outside, you just want to chug. You don't want the pulp. You really oh, don't. The one, um, I think it, you bought it at Costco once, right? I did. It's called yeah. watermelon. Yeah. It's not spelled the same way, but it's different. Um, but I really like that one because it gets really, really hot. And even times when I go to Costco and they have it, I'll buy it and chug it in the car as soon as I get in there. Because it's like water. It's really, really light. If you guys got offended about what I said about the salary, I'm sorry. But I do have opinions, guys. I'm human. I'm very forgiving with the way that I think about everybody's walk of life, but the celery one, I just... You just want them to taste better. I want them to enjoy better. it, yeah. yeah. You deserve better. <laughs> celery is great, but you deserve to combine it with something else. What do you think of when you think of uh, celery? Ant mugs. <laughs> You're a sicko. <laughs> kids love those things, man. I remember, like... Going to school and one of the kids wanted to train my burrito and he's like, I'll give you an app mug. And I'm like, that sounds cool. What is that? They're good though. I like And them. Um, he rolls out the celery log looking things with peanut butter and raisins in it. Mm -hmm. And I ate them, but I was like, I miss my burrito. I don't know why I traded for it. You sure don't girl. What's wrong with you? That's like giving your taco away. You don't. But uh, you know, at least I can say I've had ant logs before. <laughs> Ladies, do not give your taco away. Make sure that... You're taking, do not give your taco away. <laughs> How dare you? What? How dare you give a burrito away for an ant log? Because I like food and I want well, to try something different. Your, what was in your burrito? Uh, just frijoles. Ay, que rico. And fresh meat tortillas. And she's over here like, like when she was a kid. <laughs> Super cute, see? <laughs> I'm thinking of that burrito right now. <laughs> yeah. Who remembers Full House Joey saying, cut it out? My sister just did the hand gestures, no. and I wish that I can sneak them in here somehow. No, because I didn't do it right, guys. Ignore her. <laughs> so we're done with the pulp. I'm not going to be adding the pulp to any of my waters today, but it's going to be your personal preference. Um, I show you guys in the cucumber uh, water video how I did that, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this to the side. If you're going to drink your water immediately the same day, you don't need to do the step. But if you're going to be keeping it in the refrigerator, because I know I have a lot of single people there, small couples, you want to go ahead and add some lime or lemon. That'll push it to about, I want to say, two, three days. It'll last in your refrigerator if you add the citrus. Okay? And I don't want to add too much because my key limes are very, very strong. So I'm going to make one pitcher with just simple watermelon water um, and the other one I'm going to add a little bit of sugar and one of the things you're going to notice is that when you blend your watermelon all the sweetness that you were tasting disappears and that's why you want to add if you like the sweetness you want to add that if you're doing uh, the detox or more of the weight loss drinks then don't add any sugar you really don't need it so ooh, I'm going to spice this one up let me cut a little piece over here I wish I had the watermelon that had the um, 
seeds. the seeds in it because yeah. it would look so pretty in your water. I mean, it does have seeds that are just not mature yet. Yeah. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pour it. You can probably decorate this with your, if you're using lemon, remember if you're using key lime, it does get a little bit bitter in your drinks. So I wouldn't add it for decor in here. I think you can barely see it, but yeah, we know. It's good. Okay. Let me set this one to the side. All right, Kyle's gonna get us a little bit of uh, mint from our garden. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, I think I'm gonna do two uh, tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm gonna add the other half of my lime, my key lime. All right, well, this is pretty amazing and I'll tell you why. Uh, mitt aids in digestion. So your watermelon hydrates you. It's good for weight loss, digestion, all these combined together. It's such a beautiful uh, blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mint one to this one because I don't think the kids will be too crazy about it. Maybe, baby. Mm -hmm. Right? So let me go ahead and add. It tastes good once you're done with your water and you chew the mint. Yeah, it really does. And then when you add the mint in here, it just gives it a little bit of a, an infused flavor. You know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Yes. Sounds like that picture is just for us. <laughs> we'll hey. put those in your garden, one picture for you, one picture for You know for what? Me. I agree. I'm going to tell you something, parents. Gin, you're having that adult time. Gin is going to be really good with this. But if you're adding gin, that's when you want to add a little bit more sugar. I'm after some good mascot. If anyone can recommend a brand here in the States, um, let us know. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. All right. That's how I make agua de sandia. If you guys are inspired to change it up however you do, I'm excited to hear what you guys do. And if you guys decide to make any of the recipes, make sure you're sending them to me on Twitter and Instagram so that I can show them right here. That is so good, so refreshing. Make sure you have enough ice, make sure you have watermelon. And everything else is super easy. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today and for being part of this awesome channel. I show up here so happy every day to see you guys. So thank you guys so much for being part of my life. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Adios. I just want to lick the whole thing like that. I know you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, my beautiful views club. I want to take the time to thank all the beautiful mothers on this channel and whoever watches this video and I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day I hope that you're feeling strong and powerful as ever to continue the path of raising honorable humans I love you guys and we'll see you soon